Well, hello friends, it's Amy Frilici at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio. And today I have, I am just so excited, the doilies. This is the Dear Doily stamp set. And what are these called? The Doily Builder Thinlets. This is just a gorgeous, can you see all of the detail? I love, it's almost like you can make your own designer series paper just by stamping. I did add a couple of the die cut doilies as well, um, but it's just a gorgeous, oh, all of the detail in those doilies. So I've got to show you, okay? This, the Dear Doily stamp set is a cling mount stamp set that comes with 10 um, red rubber stamps. So we've got the that words can't express and then on the inside you can say how very sorry I am for your lost, just how much you mean to me, how much your kindness touches my life, and then there's a just for you and an enjoy also. So we've got some kind of deeper, maybe more sympathy and thank you type of sentiments, but then we've got some fun and joy and just for you as well, some more lighthearted sentiments as well. And then can you see all of the detail in both of those doilies, this beautiful kind of floral leafy image, and then another fun little doily there as well. So a great stamp set, and then of course it is bundled with with the doily builder thinlets. So again, there's that kind of floral leaf image. Ooh, a really pretty border that I hadn't even noticed yet. Um, there's a, um, what is that? That's called a bow, Amy. And then um, this I'm sure is gonna cut out that little guy right there and then some more details right and there's even a big doily i'm going to flip this over so this huge doily with all of that detail that you could use as well we are actually going to use this baby right here and then that little guy right there on our card today so i'm going to pull those out right now so you can get the stamp set you can get the framelits if you get the bundle together you save that 10 percent, which is awesome right I will make sure to give you the item codes for everything that we're using in the details to the YouTube video. So just look down below. You're going to have to do the click more and then all of the item codes will be right there. So you don't have to search around for what you need to get your order in to get these beautiful products. So let me tell you measurements. We have, this is a Blackberry Bliss cardstock, card base, I guess, using cardstock, Blackberry Bliss card. Blackberry Bliss cardstock. So we have our eight and a half by 11 inch piece of cardstock. We cut it in half along the 11 inch side at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it in half at four and a quarter inches to make the nice crisp fold on our card as always. I love scoring those. And then let's see, we have a piece of Granny Apple Green cardstock that measures, this one's a little bit futsy, it's three and seven eighths by five and one eighth inches, because I wanted just a little border of that green peeking out um, behind our whisper white piece that measures three and three quarters by five inches. And we actually have two of these, because we've got our words can't express, and then on the inside it says, how much your kindness touches my life with that pretty detail there as well. So this piece is also three and three quarter by five inches on the inside. And then just a couple of scraps of Blackberry Bliss and Granny Apple Green cardstock to die cut with our doilies. So let's see, why don't we, let's do our die cutting first and we'll get that kind of done and out of the way. And of course my framelits are in the way now. So I've got my Big Shot with my magnetic platform. I need two of my clear, pads here. I've got one underneath and I'm going to put one on top. We are going to run this back and forth a couple of times because of all the detail in here. I want to make sure I get good cuts and that's one of the easiest ways to do that. And it's pretty tight so we're going to go back and forth. Sorry, I know that's probably wiggling so bear with me. Maybe just turn your head away for a sec. If you're getting motion sick, which I do <laughs> as I'm watching the video, I'm like, oh my goodness. There. Okay, so let's check that out. So there, it all, oh, and you can see that's how you know because I see all that silver cutting through there. So I can see that that did a nice cut on there. And oh yeah, this one cut really well because I can, haha, <laughs> cool. Okay, so this one we just need to get off of our clear platform and maybe make a couple of pokes or run it on our, well, what is that called? That is the, Oh my goodness, Big Shot. The Big Shot die brush is what I'm talking about. Run it on the little pad here. So I'm just gonna do that for a quick sec. Get those couple of babies out. And then this one's gonna require a little bit more running, I would say. 
Oh, look at all those pieces. Look at how they popped right out though. So I'm gonna do that a couple more times just to get those couple of pieces. So check that here. Let's see if I move this out of the way, then you can see it a little bit better, right? All the detail, isn't that beautiful? And then here's the little green baby. They get a little bit swallowed up when you put them on the cart. Not kind of, but not, you know, but you can really see all the detail on those. Trying to find it, where's the best place to put that? Oh, I love those doilies. So pretty and dainty. And it's funny because I was looking at like, the purple and green is totally my color combo, kind of for winter, I feel like. And I'm looking at this thing, oh, I want to do some like fun, bright colors with these doilies as well. I think that would be um, a different, a nice different touch, right? Okay, so I have my paper piercing mat and I am actually going to put a little piece of scrap you know what, we're gonna go this way, there we go. So, cause I wanna kinda go off the edges here. So we are gonna first get our sentiment. I wanna make sure that I leave a good amount of room for our words can't express. Nice, easy, tap, tap, tap. Make sure I'm going the right way. And press straight down and lift straight. Ooh, and that is not very, ooh boy. All right, we're gonna flip it over and try it again. So I'm gonna to have to remember that. Apparently I might need to re-ink this ink pad. Let's see if I press firmly. There, that is better. Okay, shoo. Now I want to go back and I'm gonna use my Granny Apple Green ink because those big, I find it easier to stamp with the bigger images first and then kind of fill in where I need to with my smaller images. So I'm going to do one right there. And then this is why I brought that little scrap out because I want to do one up in the corner. We're going to do one more down in that corner. And because you can see, right, if I didn't have that scrap piece of paper, I'd be getting ink all over my pad, which, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world, but I'm going to try not to do that. So I think I like what we've got going there, right? Now I'm gonna go back to my Blackberry Bliss ink and I'm gonna stamp one right there. And let's do one more. I'm gonna press firmly to try to get all that ink off. That one was a little bit light, but I think that's gonna be okay. Definitely remember to re-ink the ink pad before I use it again. I made this card a couple of weeks ago and I'm just finally getting the chance to make the video and apparently the ink dried up on me a little bit. <laughs> Normally I usually design these cards and then make the video pretty quickly, but this one didn't happen that way. Okay, so I want one more little bit right there. I just can't have enough of those doilies, but I think that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? And actually before I put this away, I'm gonna grab my other white piece of cardstock for the inside. And we're gonna stamp our, how much your life, or how much your kindness <laughs> touches my life is what I wanna say there, right? So I'm trying to ink that up really well. Normally I wouldn't have to ink quite so much. Straight down and straight up, that looks good. And then one more, I want, where is here? My big doily, I'm going to ink up. Sorry, that wiggle wiggle. What is up with that? And yeah, just kind of stamp it right there in the corner. Just a little kind of remember what was on the outside when you look at the inside of the card. Okay, I think we are ready to put things together. So you can see how fun stamping all of those doilies are and, and how you could really make your own, like I said, designer series paper with whatever colors um, and as many doilies as you want, right? Okay, so we're gonna grab our snail adhesive, and I love, this is a great example, our Whisper White cardstock is thick enough that you cannot see that I stamped on the back there, right? If I hold it up in the light, you might be able to, but once we put it on our Granny Apple Green cardstock, you cannot tell at all. It's one of the beauties of Stampin' Up! products. Such high quality, so thick. Okay, we're gonna add this on to our card base. So you can see, just a lot of fun stamping. Not a difficult card, fairly simple card. Right, we're gonna add some more adhesive to our inside sentiment. 
And you could use any of the sentiments. If you needed a sympathy card, you could have stamped that, um, how, sorry, how very sorry I am for your loss, or just how much you mean to me. You could stamp that one as well. So lots of options for the inside of our card too. Now, the last step, somebody was asking me how I put all of these detailed little pieces on. And honestly, I just use my snail adhesive and my silicone craft sheet, and I just run some adhesive around on this. So when you use the silicone craft sheet, the extra adhesive that you can kind of see inside of there doesn't stick to the craft sheet like it would if you, oops, that's not the one I want, if you did that right on um, your work surface, you get, and if you feel like it's a little bit sticky, if you just rub, you can kind of rub off that extra adhesive. And then we're gonna put one right there. Now the last step, I have to add a little bit of bling to the inside of those. I've got my pearls. So I gotta open up this pack. Apparently I've got a brand new pack of pearls. That doesn't happen very often. Okay, so I'm gonna slide these babies out and add a couple of pearls. I am just gonna use my paper snips and I'm gonna add one little pearl in the center of my granny apple green doily and then kind of a medium sized pearl is what I like to use in the inside of that Blackberry Bliss doily. And there we go. How about that? You guys like that card? I have been, oh, I just, I want to play with this stamp set so much. I have so many fun ideas for it. So hopefully I'll have lots of new ideas posted on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com with this stamp set and lots of other stamp sets that we have um, available to us right now. Like I said, I will include the item codes for everything that we use to make this card on the details below the, um, YouTube video here. Make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future stamping tutorials. When you're ready to shop, you can hop on my website. It's amysuzanne.stampinup.net. Grab the host code first, though, from gatheringinspiration.com. It's on that right-hand side toolbar. Then when you shop online and use the host code, I always send you a free embellishment. And a good example might be um, a pack of these pearls. I'll send you a free embellishment, maybe a pack of pearls with your thank you card as my thank you for putting an order in. Just needs to be a minimum $50 order. And then also come see me for Facebook Live videos over on the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio Facebook uh, group every Friday at 11:30 a.m. Eastern Time. We do more stamping. I do giveaways. There is a separate host code um, for the giveaways that you can earn on Facebook Live as well. So come check things out. I'd love to have you stamp with me, hang out with me anytime. Please let me know if you have any questions, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye, everybody. I hope you are inspired today.